4.6, approximating values of a function using local linearity and linearization. Let g be a differentiable function such that g of 3 is 8 and g prime 3 is negative 2. The graph of g is concave down on the interval 2 to 4. Find the approximation of g of 3.2 using the line tangent to the graph of g at x equals 3. Secondly, is the approximation an underestimate of the value g of 3.2? So there's two questions here. We're going to answer the first one. Find g of 3.2. Now, if we had the function, could I find g of 3.2 really quick? Yeah, but I don't have a function here. All I have is a value and a slope. From that value and slope, you can create a tangent line that can approximate nearby values. All right? It can approximate nearby values. Let me give you a visual for what this is saying. What you need to understand here is we have the value 3, 8. So 1, 2, 3, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have a coordinate over 3, up 8. It's right there. That's 3, 8. Are we okay? That's 3, 8. That's the coordinate. And at that coordinate, don't we also know the slope is negative 2? So what did that mean? I'm going to go down 2 over 1. So wouldn't my tangent line look like that? Wouldn't that be my tangent line with a negative 2 slope? Bam, I have any, a picture of a tangent line there. All right, next. Didn't it say that G is concave down from 2 to 4? So in this interval right here from 2 to 4, remember, we have... 2, 3, 4, so we're at 3, but in that interval, it says it's concave down. So what that means is your graph, if it's concave down, looks like that. Are you okay? Concave down will have that look. I don't know what it looks like outside of that, but it has that look for concave down. All right? So with that said, this is your tangent line. For this concave, it's not perfectly drawn. But that's kind of the look of what we're doing, and that's going to answer our questions. Again, it was concave down. That's going to be important for the second question. For the first question, it doesn't really matter. So I want to find the value right there. Don't you want to find g of 3.2, which is using the tangent line, can't you approximate right next to 3? Using that tangent line, you can approximate just really near, nearby. So how do we find g of 3.2? Well, we make the equation of the tangent line and plug in 3.2. So watch what we're going to do. The equation of a tangent line is going to be 1 minus the y value equals the slope times x minus the x value. Are you okay? I took 3, 8 and the negative 2. Isn't this the equation for the green line? Can't I now plug in 3.2 to this equation to approximate 3.2, g of 3.2? Yeah, it can be an approximation. So I have y minus 8 is equal to negative 2, 3.2 minus 3. And I crunch these numbers. So this is going to be y minus 8 is equal to negative 2 times 0.2. I'm going to add the 8 over. And I have y equals negative 0.4 plus 8. Which in the end, are you okay that this is really an approximation of g of 3.2 is approximately, what is this equal to? 7.6. Are you okay, hopefully, that this answer is an approximation of g of 3.2? And so I put a squiggly. It's not exactly, it's approximation. We're approximating using a tangent line to approximate. So we answered the first part, but the second part, second part, the second part is asking, is this an underestimate? So let's talk about under and overestimates. It has to do with concavity. All right? So let's look at this particular graph. Do you see how this dot is above the red graph? Because it's concave down, isn't that dot above the red graph? So wouldn't this yellow dot right here be an overestimate of the red graph? See how that red dot, the yellow dot is above it's outside, above kind of feature of it. So that means that g of this is actually an overestimate. So the answer is no. If you want to answer specifically, 
You say no. The answer is, a, is really a no. Oops, didn't want that one. The answer is really a no. And the reason is because it's an overestimate for the second part. Now, let me give you a legend to how to solve these every time. Here we go. If you have something that is concave down, do you understand no matter how you make your tangent line, can you see that my values are always overestimates? They're always going to be over estimates. But if your graph is concave up, can you see that your graphs are always going to be an underestimate? If you look at the picture, won't the values next to always be below the graph? Aren't the values next to always going to be below the graph? Where if it's, an, uh, if it's concave um, down, which I didn't spell my down right, but probably another in on there would help. <laughs> Aren't the value, uh, isn't the red graph always below the tangent line? Where here the yellow line, when it's concave up, your, your, your line, tangent line is always underneath. So underestimate versus an overestimate always depends on the concavity. But you can picture it and see it visually, but this will always hold. And this is going to be important for the second part of these kind of questions. Selected values of the derivative of a function g are given in the table below. So you see these are derivative values. They're not, x, they're not g values, they're derivative values. It is known that g of 5 is 7. Oh, good, they tell me that. What is the approximation of g of 4.9 found using the line tangent to the graph at 5? So we know that I have a coordinate 5, 7, and we also know at 5, don't we also know the slope is 1? Because isn't, according to the table, isn't g prime 5 equal to 1? Okay, maybe I should just leave g prime 5 and not put the m equals 1. Are we okay with that? From this, could we make a tangent line to approximate g of 4.9? Yes, we can. So let us make a tangent line. y minus the y value equals m times x minus the x value. And from here, can we now plug in 4.9? So I'm going to do y minus 7 equals, I don't need the 1 anymore because the 1 kind of disappears. It's kind of nice about it. 4.9 minus 5. I'm going to add the 7 over. So y is equal to, what is that? That's going to be a point negative. 0.1 plus 7. So y equals, oops, not negative, is equal to, I'll just call it, dec, um, let's call it, this is 6.9. So if I write this out properly, wouldn't I be saying that g of 4.9 is approximately 6.9? Next, could we also check if they ask, I'm just going to expand on this, could we also look at the concavity of this problem and see if this is an over or under approximation? Yeah, watch this. Look at the slopes. Look at the slopes. At this point, isn't the slope 3? Then it goes to 2. Then it goes to 1. Then it goes to 0. Do you notice the concavity here? Aren't the slopes decreasing? Isn't this concave down? So if it's concave down, what is this? If my graph look like that, what is my approximation? Is, it, is my approximation an over or underestimate? Hopefully you can see it's an overestimate. On either side, it's an overestimate. And that's, if we were asking more about over and underestimate, this would actually be an overestimate because this the concave down nature of my story